Good afternoon. I hope this Hazel Park News finds you well on this Thursday. There was a contributor from the Seasons of the Spirit, a worship resource that I use, that said a couple of years ago the following. Faith is the refusal to underestimate God. I sure needed to hear those words. How about you? Faith is the refusal to underestimate God. In a world that is fragmented and even fractured, a world that is enduring great loss and grief, a world that has been turned upside down by a pandemic, to hear these words that God will not leave us nor forsake us, for we are not to underestimate God. I'm grateful, and it's words that I needed to hear. There's an implication then, if we are not, if faith is the refusal to underestimate God, then the implication is that God has done some pretty miraculous things. That as God wades with us through the thick of it, God has seen a great deal, and so have we, and we know then that God remains with us. Where has God been with you? Where have you seen God moving in ways we never imagined? When we listen to the scriptures this coming Sunday, we're going to hear how the nets have been cast and they come up empty. And Jesus says, throw out your nets again. And they come up full. And what did Jesus do that these experienced people who have fished all their lives, what didn't they do that Jesus did? Well, when we read the scriptures, Jesus invited them to use a different net than what they were using. And how, how revolutionary of an idea. Sometimes we just need to look in our toolbox and use some different things. And by doing something different, it certainly creates and produces something we would have never imagined. It allows us to see things in a different way. And as we continue to do church in this way, as we gather in person, as we gather virtually, as we step foot into our sanctuaries, and as we meet on virtual sanctuaries, we know that church is different, and yet the concepts are still the same, where hope, faith, love, abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. That if faith is the refusal to underestimate God, God is going to be present with us when we do different things and when we use different nets and when we experiment. So for this week, I invite you to think about the many ways that God is inviting you to fully show up as you are with all your gifts and to do something new. Because let me tell you, God is pushing us in ways we would have never imagined. And through the work and word of Jesus the Christ, we are being pushed in ways we never imagined. For Jesus pushed his disciples in ways that they weren't necessarily keen on, much like Jesus continues to push us in ways we never imagined. How is God's still speaking voice pushing you in this season, this season in some ways that is completely turned upside down? How are you seeing things in a different way? How are you using your different nets? Those are my questions I pose to you on this day. As we get geared up for Sunday, where we will be meeting virtually once more, one, once more, I'm hoping that we will be back to in-person worship on February 13th. My friends, I hope that you continue to see how God is working through you. Just be you, for you are enough. God is with us in this journey, and I needed to hear words that said faith is the refusal to underestimate God because God is doing great things. God is doing great things in us as we share our story. May God's light and love be with you 
on this Thursday. And I hope to chat with you online on Sunday. And I hope to see you soon, as soon as February 13th. Take care, dear friends, and I'll see you real soon.